if you are using any kind of chemical sunscreen or any of these sunscreen you need to watch this video because these sunscreen contain some ingredients that are really bad for your health contain some ingredients that are really carcinogenic toxic really bad for your health it seeps into your bloodstream creates hormonal disruption and applying these can lead to skin cancer i'm sure you are tired of hearing all of these so let's spill the tea and see if these claims are true or not hey guys welcome back to my channel this would be a kind of different video because this is a kind of a discussion video it's not a myth bursting video it's not a fact check video it's not degrading some studies or degrading someone it's just a normal moral discussion that i want to have with you guys now i am getting a lot of comments regarding benzophenone 3 in sunscreen how applying sunscreen can cause cancer and how we should all abandon such sunscreen that contains benzophenone or octocrylene or any of these six filters now we are gonna have a fair discussion in which i am gonna be talking about all of these concerns and also where does these myths come from and where does this rumor come from of course i'm backing it up with research or any kind of studies that was done i am going to be linking all of the studies research video links and any of the creators that i am mentioning including any product that i mentioned in the description box below so do check it and if you are a sunscreen connoisseur like me or if you are just frustrated with all of the sunscreen rumors that is going on do stick till the end because it is going to help you in becoming a informed consumer we are going to be addressing these few questions is sunscreen safe is applying sunscreen safe by applying sunscreen are we getting any kind of harm or skin cancer are chemical sunscreen safe are mineral sunscreen the only option that we have nowadays does chemical sunscreen or chemical filters seep into our bloodstreams and messes up our hormones whether these six filters should be used in a sunscreen should we be cautious about the six filters being in a sunscreen and should we all switch to new gen filters or even better mineral sunscreen and last but not the least which one is better chemical sunscreen or mineral sunscreen now to answer all of that we are going to be talking about all of these concerns in detail so stick around till the end the first question comes are sunscreen safe yes and no now there are a lot of sunscreen available in the market and depending upon the studies done depending upon the filters that they use depending upon the formulation and also depending upon how they are made heavily questions the word safe now the safe word is really different from a normal layman like us and scientists for example today you cooked something it tastes amazing and scientists approve that to be safe but you can also put it in the fridge and have it in the next day and that is completely safe for us and according to food standards but according to scientists it might not be safe just relying on the fact of the nutritional value sometimes degrade when you have it the day after now comes the second question by not applying sunscreen are we doing ourselves a favor or are we pushing ourselves to the worst get this fact straight no matter what sunscreen you are using you are doing yourself a favor now i know a lot of channels contribute by putting some kind of oil or ayurvedic medicine or ayurvedic herbs and something slathering it on our body because our ancestors used to do so you have to keep one thing in mind and that's the ozone depletion if you compare the amount of uv exposure we used to get about like 500 or even 100 years ago it is much worse compared to today's world if you are not familiar with uvb and uv areas can cause dna damage which in turns causes aging and skin cancer so any kind of sunscreen that you are using is good enough so by not applying sunscreen you are much more prone to skin cancer and that is not something i am saying this is a topic that has been heavily researched and you can read the first article that i have given down below coming on to the next question are physical sunscreen better or chemical sunscreen better if you are not familiar with sunscreen there are essentially two types of sunscreen physical sunscreen and chemical sunscreen the next question is equally important which one is better chemical sunscreen or physical sunscreen now chemical sunscreen has organic filters like tinosorbam octocrylene avobenzone benzophenone 3 and mineral sunscreen has inorganic filters such as titanium dioxide and zinc oxide now there is also hybrid sunscreen which comprises of both of these filters mixed together in certain ratio to give you that optimum amount of protection and to overall make the product much more user friendly now there is no such black and white in skin care so as in sunscreen now, some people prefer that chemical sunscreen some people prefer 
the mineral sunscreen. The reason why people don't like mineral sunscreen is because of the heavy white cast. Nowadays, there are a lot of options regarding mineral sunscreen and many brands are formulating just mineral based sunscreen and they are making it much more cosmetically elegant but it also comes with a high price tag that also we need to consider and chemical sunscreen on the other hand is getting a bad rep because somehow chemical sunscreen are causing us cancer and somehow they are giving us hormone disruption now this is not entirely false it was a research done on endocritic disruptors and these ingredients were found to be absorbed into your bloodstream but nowhere in the research it is shown that the chemical sunscreen mixing in with your blood is a bad thing and it would affect your overall body and overall well-being it was conducted solely on the basis of how much of the chemical filters or how much of the chemical sunscreen is being absorbed in our body Let's address some couple of myths regarding sunscreen and the overall chaos that is the sunscreen community. First of all, chemical sunscreen seep into your bloodstream, disrupt your hormones and makes you much more prone to being ill and we should all switch to mineral sunscreen. First of all, it's not entirely false, not entirely true at the same time. We are going to address all of those issues, so stay tuned. Next myth is mineral sunscreen are just better. Switch to mineral sunscreen. They literally deflect the rays and you will get less tanning which is completely false. Researchers has found out mineral sunscreen and chemical sunscreen both work similarly. They both absorb certain part of the UV rays and then also reflect at the same time. Not entirely black and white again right here. Another most commonly asked question in my channel is benzophenone 3 causes hormone disruption, causes skin cancer. It's such a toxic ingredient. It shouldn't be put in a sunscreen. People should ban benzophenone. People should not use any kind of old gen fit filters people should choose new gen filters which is tinosorb s tinosorb m yes new gen filters are good but let me also burst a myth for you guys new gen filters are not approved in many countries including us which is the fda fda is still yet to approve of any new gen filters while they are completely fine with using old gen filters as an evobenzone octocrylene any of these six filters that you absolutely hate until a lot of research comes regarding these filters like tinosorb s and tinosorb n and new gen filters we cannot truly again rely on new gen filters if you think in a certain way because if you don't trust old gen filters how can you trust new gen filters because old gen filters has the most amount of research done on them while new gen filters has a little bit of research done which gives all its pros but what about the cons so 10 or 20 years down the lane or even 50 years down the lane we might have a different opinion about new gen filters it can also be carcinogenic it can also be toxic it can also be bad Coming on to the topic of carcinogenic, some people are claiming that by using sunscreen, you are much more prone to skin cancer. There are a lot of people out there who doesn't promote sunscreen and promotes like applying oil or certain kind of paste on your skin to help you fight off that sun and UV rays because again our ancestors used to do so uh, to those people I don't have anything to say do what you do but to all of you viewers who are keen on understanding and learning and be more informed stick around because I'm going to be explaining this in detail first of all the main concern is chemical sunscreen seeping into our bloodstream yes it does it does to a certain extent but not to a point that it is dangerous or hazardous studies has been done on this particular topic but nowhere it has been found that the seeping into the bloodstream kind of situation leads to some kind of health condition it's just a fact and that's just basically it nothing else so coming on to the topic of benzophenone 3 and how it's a carcinogenic how it can cause cancer how it's a toxic ingredient let me be clear with you guys these six ingredients are not carcinogenic not toxic and not hazardous if they are used in a certain quantity because the dosage makes poison. Now, where does this all rumor come from? Suddenly, everybody is talking about benzophenone 3 octino said these filters being so bad for you that you should stop your current sunscreen. Now, it all comes to this particular ingredient right here, which is benzene. The Balishor benzene drama. If you are not aware of the Balishor benzene drama, I will just it as much as I can in this video. But as always, the research and the papers and all of the data is 
has been linked in the bottom box below. So Valusure is an independent lab that conducts tests on drugs basically. And in US, sunscreen is considered a OTC or over-the-counter drug. And like Indian skincare situation, because in India, the regulations are much less and they only consider sunscreen as a cosmetic. We are going to talk about Indian sunscreen situation in this video, so stay tuned for that. But Valusure conducted this test in which it took many different popular sunscreen and popular and reputed brands and they put it in a test to find out if they contain any kind of benzene. Now benzene as an ingredient is a hydrocarbon because benzene is considered not safe for health. It is a carcinogenic ingredient and no such quantity of benzene is entertained in any kind of product. That's why benzene is not found in any kind of ingredient list. If it does, go report that brand, please. I do want to put a little bit of information right here. Now, oxybenzone or any kind of chemical or mineral filters are permitted in a certain percentage. I will link the exact information down there so you can check how much percentage is allowed in each and every country. So coming back to the Valishore and benzene drama. So they conducted this test taking various different type of sunscreen, sunscreen spray, Sprays, lotion, even after sun care products, and they just gave a list of the products that tested out to contain benzene and the products that didn't. And the list containing benzene includes brands like Neutrogena, La Roche Posay. Now you have to also consider the fact benzene is not included in any of the ingredient list that they tested upon because it is a contamination problem, not a sunscreen problem. So the unit and the batch that these products were tested, they had some kind of problem with the batch. That's why if you face any kind of problem with any kind of product from Indian brands or any brand, they always ask you for a batch number just to check if there was any kind of contamination that was happened in that particular batch. If you have any kind of problem with any kind of product, do always mail the brand with the batch number because that is how they can give you any kind of potential solution. The study was done on sunscreen, after sun care and even sun lotion and some after sun care also found out to contain benzene. Now there is this myth that oxybenzone, avobenzone or any of the six filters turns into benzene and hence a car carcinogenic ingredient but in the research they also did an additional test on these six filters and concluded that none of the filters turn into benzene. You can also look into the matter of non-benzene tested sunscreen to the benzene tested sunscreen. The ingredient list of both of them overlap so it is hence proof these six ingredients doesn't turn into benzene. So these six ingredients are safe to go right? Coming to the chemical sunscreen seeping into the bloodstream, there was a research done by JAMA that conducted this study where it took a certain amount of individuals, they let them put sunscreen in a form of lotions, creams, etc. And they put the required amount of sunscreen all over the face and covering 75% of their body consecutively for more than I think four or five days. I might be wrong again to clarify with the studies that I've mentioned below. This research was done to check whether the chemical sunscreen seep into our bloodstream. Yes, it does. But again, in the research, as I'm again mentioning, it didn't state any kind of fact that it seeping into your bloodstream causes any kind of health hazard. So you have to keep that in mind again. You also have to consider that these kind of studies or these kind of researches are done in a regulated environment, meaning the amount of sunscreen, the consistency, everything is being monitored. Now, why it doesn't concern us is because, because normally most of the people only apply sunscreen to the face, maybe a little bit on the hand when you are going out or on the feet, but not on 75% of our body because the person they stipulated for the body and the face are quite different because the amount of sunscreen that you put on the face is much less compared to your body. So the absorption or the total number of chemical sunscreen or chemical filters absorbed is quite less in a day-to-day -day environment. One of the creators that I really follow is Lab Muffin Beauty. You can check out her sunscreen playlist in which she has gone into much more detail about all of these kind of how the sunscreen is absorbed, how sunscreen works. You can check her channel in the bottom box below. I will link it. And also Cassandra Banson and Shireen Idris. And by the way, if you are aware of that sattvic movement problem, basically they claim that sunscreen is toxic and everything. They put a video claiming it and when Shireen Idris, being Shireen Idris, called them out, they immediately remove the video so yeah this is the situation in india right now so yeah if you are watching cassandra shireen and michelle please do something about it because indian sunscreen market indian people are really scared of these sunscreen and sunscreen related rumors and because we don't know much about it sometimes some people take advantage of that and manipulate the audience so that's a really bad thing so yeah you should be definitely checking these three creators out because they do create content especially on sunscreen and skincare and that would make you much more informed, much more aware of what you consume in the internet, especially in skincare. So as I was saying, on a 
normal day to day basis we don't apply sunscreen and slather it all throughout our body like 75% of the body and apply it every single day in a year maybe i apply uh four or five times whenever i'm going out only on the exposed part of my skin i don't bother putting it all over my body because i simply don't need it and 99% of the time i am indoors and i don't need to apply sunscreen on my body so if you are not applying sunscreen all over your body like 100% of your body and doing it every single day for 365 days a year i think you are good to go but if you are someone who needs to go out who needs to be in the sun like 365 days a year then it might be a concern for you this was all the studies now i am going to do a part two of this which would have more studies and more information regarding this but just to keep this video simple and short one question that you might have even before watching the video or just midway through the video is what to do now yes we get all the information and everything but moitrai what to do now it's basically simple just apply sunscreen that's it you don't have to fear you can take all of the information that i gave with a pinch of salt do your own research see the studies that i have mentioned below see the creators i have mentioned below and then make a an informed decision as a consumer first of all as i mentioned these six filters are completely safe to use and you should be using sunscreen 365 days a year reapplying it every 2 hours if you do something like this you are Good to go trust me you are much less likely to get any kind of skin disease or any kind of aging problems hydration problems any kind of barrier problems if you apply sunscreen every single day as i said absorption is not equal to risk and you are much more prone to getting skin cancer if you don't wear a sunscreen these two statements are proof and these two statements are the only things that you should be concerned about and if you are concerned about using a sunscreen that has benzophenone 3 trust me i use it i am perfectly fine millions of people use use it they are completely fine studies have been done on these ingredients they are completely fine and if you are a fan of new sunscreen filters trust me in the future there would be a lot of research done they would also face the same amount of bad rep as the old gen filters because yeah everything in world has its pros and cons now if you are concerned about choosing a right sunscreen choose a sunscreen that you are enjoying the most now i am a sunscreen connoisseur and i like to collect sunscreen and use sunscreen every single day most of them are empty it's because i am a content creator and i do have to show you a lot of sunscreen that's why i have a little bit of it left to give you that b rolls whenever i'm going to talk about but yeah this is like one fourth or one third of my collection and i love collecting sunscreen and i love trying out new sunscreen i am fan of sunscreen whether it's mineral or chemical but i do love my chemical sunscreen and it really saddens my heart when people talk really bad about chemical sunscreen why it's being bad and people should ban chemical sunscreen yeah until and unless nice formulated mineral sunscreen are out there because mineral sunscreen yeah mineral sunscreen can easily fool you look around the ingredient list if it's purely mineral sunscreen you are good to go but most of the time these brands would include any kind of sunscreen booster that can act as a chemical sunscreen filter so you're not exactly applying a mineral sunscreen this is a hybrid sunscreen you're applying so be an informed consumer are mineral sunscreen better because mineral sunscreen doesn't have any kind of cons mineral sunscreen are pregnancy safe mineral sunscreen can be applied in anyone baby children pregnant women breastfeeding women yes mineral sunscreen are great but nicely formulated mineral sunscreen comes with a price not many of us can afford you have to also keep that in mind even all of these new gen filter sunscreen screen comes with a price at least above 500 and many of you teenagers or anyone out there can't afford to use a sunscreen for applying every single day it adds up the cost and many of you guys can't afford that and affordable sunscreen contains this filter so what to do now choose any kind of sunscreen that you will enjoy putting any kind of sunscreen that you are putting you are helping yourself trust me you will be less prone to aging sunburn and obviously skin cancer please protect your skin from the sun it is not just for the aesthetics but for your health as well now one thing i want to really add up regarding nave safe is that nave safe is basically alcohol free fragrance free and essential oil free skin care products or sunscreen i support both fragrance and non fragrance product korean and japanese skin care sometimes include a little bit of alcohol a little bit of fragrance a little bit of parabens for example parabens parabens were considered a revolutionary preservative but somehow it's bad now because it seeps into your blood cells don't have any kind of studies done india has given a bad rep so as these six filters now by watching this video you guys must be confused you guys must be like 
like mm, what to do now should we invest more on sunscreen should we save a little bit of money buy good sunscreen trust me you are good to go by applying any kind of sunscreen now i have couple of options regarding three different categories first of all who are still scared of chemical sunscreen do go with any kind of mineral sunscreen available out there i don't personally have a mineral sunscreen in my collection but i do have this dermaco 100% mineral powder you can apply this is 100% mineral sunscreen doesn't has any kind of sunscreen booster as of my knowledge ingredients can change websites can update but as of now this one doesn't has any kind of sunscreen booster in it so it's a purely mineral sun so you are good to go but again this kind of sunscreen powders and this kind of sunscreen stick doesn't really gives you that claimed amount of spf with just one sweep you have to apply quite a lot of it if you are a consumer who is perfectly fine by using chemical sunscreen but want a new generation filters chemical sunscreen you can try basically any korean sunscreen or japanese sunscreen they do include some amazing filters the affordable pick for this video would be the but simply one because it contains all new gen filters no old gen filters so again oxybenzone free and deep safe you can even try the minimalist SPF SPF 60. It has new gen filters, but it is a little bit more richer, so it is much more suited to try and dehydrate skin. While the Put Simply one can be suited to combo to oily skin. And lastly, to all of those people who are like, I don't want to apply any kind of sunscreen. I am good to go because my ancestors were good to go. Trust me, you do you. I am no one to say, but. Um, do your research and i wish you guys all the best lastly for a bonus category if you are like me and you have done your research and you are an informed consumer trust me any of the sunscreen are great i apply sunscreen all throughout the year 365 days a year and even if i'm indoors i tend to reapply it so if you are like me trust me we are gonna age much more gracefully that's a key point that you can take from this video before ending this video we are gonna look into indian sunscreen regulation because i reside in india and i want to know how my country is going forward with the sunscreen game now in india the regulations are not that great but it is slowly approaching towards its greater good and i found out one relevant study which is done by the department of pharmaceutical sciences and Bilda institute of technology has has included a couple of different filters and how much percentage that they are allowed in India compared to the world and you can find the study down below. So yeah, this was my kind of a discussion, a couple of facts and information that I wanted to mention regarding this whole sunscreen trauma that is going on. Don't just digest everything that you're consuming in the internet. Scrutinize it, research it, and be a more informed consumer. Do read all of the articles that I've given below or see the video again. If I have missed any points if you think that you can add on some points do let me know in the comment box below help the community help us we all can learn from each other and there is a lot of opportunity for learning so do mention all of your arguments statements your agreement disagreements in the comment box below like this video if you like my content because i worked a lot for this video it took me like a solid full day to actually scrutinize all of the information and to obviously make a video on it despite of the drilling work that is continuing annoying me and share this video to any of your friends who is scared of sunscreen or the information that benzophenone or any kind of those six filters are dangerous to health can cause skin cancer and these kind of misinformation that is provided to you by someone media anyone and lastly subscribe to this channel hit on the bell notification and i will see you in the next video so bye bye and take care